I love myself so much. And when I say that I love myself so much, I'm referring to you. I'm referring to these bushes behind me. I'm referring to that hotel over there. That palm tree, that sign, that car, the ground, this coat, the t-shirt, these teeth, this face, this phone, these buildings, this Ralph's, this grocery store parking lot that I'm doing this video in. I love myself so much, so, so much. I love myself and this is what I look like. This is who I am. This is what I am. What I'm trying to say here that sounds like lunacy to some, but makes perfect sense to others, is that it is seen eventually that this thing that we are is arising for something that is not, that is literally nothing. We call it awareness. It is aware of this thing that is arising. It has no identity. It has no self. It isn't called myself. It isn't called anything. It cannot be called anything. It is literally nothing. There is no attribute to it whatsoever. You might say, well, how do you prove that? How do you prove that that's what all this is, is appearing inside of? Well, the way that you prove that is you notice that you are that. And so now that's confusing because you just said you were everything. Well, I am everything, but I'm also nothing. I'm nothing appearing as everything. And so what happens is, as everything, certain points of everything that we call humans, but are really silly to call humans because we're everything. We're one with everything and it's changing constantly. So to call it a human is like trying to, you know, name a, a lightning bolt that's flashing by something. By the time you point it at it, it's gone. And granted, we move slow, more slowly within the appearance of nothing that we're appearing to. So we can call it a human and think that it has a life and all this. But what ends up happening is those points in everything start to question what they are, start to investigate and look into what they are. And they uncover all sorts of explanation for what they are. They uncover, you know, materialism and biology and evolution and whatever. But there's always this one burning question that just fucks them up. That burning question is, well, where is that? What is that? Where the fuck is that? Like, where is the universe? Where is this all happening? You know, like, we gotta get to the bottom of this. Let's keep searching. So we search and we search and we search and science continues to search and astronauts search and whatever, telescopes search. And while they're busy searching, some of us start to have spiritual experiences. Some of us start to notice that these bodies that are a part of this thing, which we don't even see that we don't, we don't feel that we're a part of this thing. We think we're separate within this. But some of us start to, you know, have experiences that affirm that like, no, we're actually not separate from this. And even science is starting to get to the point where it affirms like, you know, that these, these bodies, this stuff that we're made of, if we start to put it under a microscope and we look and look and look and look and look, it disappears. There's nothing to it. You know, as a hard, tangible thing, it's there. And same with everything. We put it under a microscope, we look and look and look and look, and we get to quarks, and they got some new measurement now. I don't know what it is. But ultimately, they find that the essence of what that is is nothing. There's nothing there. It disappears on their ass. And regardless of science, some of us have this experience where we're like, you know, I tend to always be here. This thing that I say, I, this, this feeling, there's a feeling that I'm always present. I'm always here, but sometimes like my body isn't appearing to me, but I just assume that it's there because I have this body, you know, but certain things aren't there. They come and go and I'm always here. I'm aware of always being here. And so we investigate into that more deeply and we come to realize that we've actually been believing a lot of 
stuff that we can't really verify. We've actually been believing that when we don't look in the mirror at our face, that it's still there. And we even we touch it and we feel it. So it's like, oh, it's still there. You know, we actually believe that, you know, down the block is still there just because we were just there. So how could it not be there? And when we go back there, it's exactly the same way that it was. And, you know, this argument stops a lot of people because they get to this point where they're like, this guy's just, you know, trying to assert some simulation theory or whatever is exactly what I'm asserting. I'm not only asserting it, I'm positive of it. And it is, uh, you know, something that, that will be or won't be actually. It's, it's not up for me to predict because I'm everything. So I don't get to decide. Andrew, Andrew doesn't get to decide shit. But eventually, for many, it would appear they will start to ha have the same realization, this understanding that when we really go and, and investigate what it is that we are, we aren't these bodies that are appearing. We are that which it's appearing to. We are that which knows that they're appearing. We're the ones that it's appearing to. But then when we go to look for that, we're like, well, what is the one that it's appearing to? Where the hell is that? I don't know where it is. I can't find it. You can't find it because there's nothing to find because it's nothing at all. You're like, well, how can you prove that? It's a tricky thing to prove. But you prove it by experiencing it for yourself. And the way that you experience it for yourself is by having a spiritual awakening. Awakening to realize what you are, what you've never not been. That which is aware of all this. Everything else comes and goes, but you stay. And, you know, if you look at some of my other videos on self-inquiry, they'll do a better job of taking you through it. I'm getting a little chilly, so I don't want to take you through that again right now. But when you realize that you're awareness, and you realize it in a very realistic, <laughs> tangible, undoubtable way, where there's no doubt anymore that that's what you are, the next thing that you realize is that that which you are is is thinking of, imagining, dreaming of, appearing as, within it is appearing everything. Everything is appearing for it. And not just Andrew, but everything. And then what you realize is everything is always changing. It's always morphing. So you've got nothing appearing as everything. And then everything is always changing. So the thing that's interesting about this is all of a sudden you go, well, so who's driving this thing? Who's in charge of this thing? Who's making the decisions about how it, what, it, what it does and where it goes? And the answer when you investigate into it is, no one is, nothing is. It's just doing it on its own. It's doing it because all of us are doing it. Those bushes are no more responsible for what the fuck's happening right now than I am and never will be. And vice versa. I will never be more responsible for what's happening in those bushes and it might appear that way. But what you're seeing right here is just color. You're seeing an appearance that's not separate from any of this. And this whole thing is a wild animal. It's an untamed wild imagination. It's a dream that goes on unendingly morphing and evolving and doing whatever the hell it wants wildly and the beauty of this discovery is that there ain't nothing you can do about it there is nothing you can do about who you are how your life goes and what happens to you despite what anyone says and that at first feels like a crummy thing to learn because you're like i've been trying to control it i want it to go good but what you do is you go through this process and you discover it for yourself and then you realize that good is a made up piece of shit good doesn't there's no such thing as good it's or you could say it's all good it's all really good you know good is a judgment that's a relative judgment but there isn't relative has to do with two when there's two you can have relativity when there's two you can have good but there isn't two there's one and this is what it looks like and when i say myself that's what i'm referring to so myself knows no good myself knows no bad myself knows divinity myself knows miracles myself knows god these are words we use to describe this but it's holy beyond holy and you know this part of myself yourself 
wants to help the other parts of myself, yourself, to know it in the way that it's being known now here. And the reason that it's a little sticky and tricky and when, you know, this part of yourself tries to talk to you about it, you know, kind of struggles to talk about it is because how do you talk about nothing? How do you talk about everything? Words can't talk about nothing and everything. There's way too much there or way too little there to talk about. So you do your best and you lead people along and you hold their hand and then eventually it dawns on them and then they know it and, you, and they feel it and they experience it. And when they experience it, it is the most life-changing, wonderful thing to experience because you realize that all you gotta do is just let go and let the river take you. Just let your life do whatever it does. Doesn't mean you don't you know, take action, but you have a distinct understanding that it isn't you taking action. Your body just does what it does. Life just lifes itself. And every single thing that's happening is you. You walk in the grocery store to buy food, that's you buying you. When you're checking out, that's you checking you out. That, that conveyor belt that your groceries are going down, those groceries are you, that conveyor belt's you, it's all you. Or, you know, you could say it's an appearance, but you are an appearance. You are an appearance of everything. You are nothing appearing as everything. That's what you are, my friends. That's what I am. And I love you. I love me. I love myself. Because look at me. Holy fucking shit. I'm nothing appearing as everything. That is fucking awesome. And I don't ever die. I just evolve. I'm always here. So are you. And you might not believe it, but you sure have the chance to. So stick with me if you want to try. And we'll try to get you there. Because I want as many people people aka myself to feel the same thing that I'm feeling experience the same thing that I'm experiencing call me crazy I don't give a fuck because I know who and what I am and uh I don't really need to know anything else you can shoot me dead right now and I'll I'll die a happy person and know damn well that I'll just keep on floating down the river so we'll catch up with you soon love you so much peace